Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay. And today I'm just going to be looking at a couple of series that I just picked up recently. Some like little, basically little online orders that I got. And um, our special guest action figures are going to be the Creech and Chandra from Rising Stars. And uh, the first lot of comics I got was, I got a pretty good deal on this. I think it was like 10 bucks for the whole set. The Spirit of Tao. Um, and why I picked it up, I've never read it. But I do like some of this this era of Top Cow. I love their art. And I was able to get basically the whole series except for one issue. And I'm pretty sure I have that issue somewhere else in my collection. So to get the whole series for like 10 bucks, I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Um, I dig the art from this era. It, I don't know, it reminds me of early Spawn stuff. It's got a McFarlane-esque feel to it. So, I picked it up. And then you got issue 10, 11, 12, 13, and then I'm missing 14. And then I have um, issue 15, which is the last issue. So I was like, gosh, I can get the whole series. I better do that. Um, next thing I got was this little stack of books. Uh, I think this was like $12. And I picked it up because I love uh, the artwork from the tent. Same type of deal. Um, it's, it's early image era. So it has a real McFarlane feel to it. And I have a couple of the action figures from the tent. And that was the main reason I bought the books was because I wanted the tenth books. Or the, bought the lot because I wanted the tenth books. Um, I was just a big fan of the art style. And like I said, I had some of the action figures. So getting some of the comics to go with it and kind of put the plot together for me was cool. And I've actually got uh, a statue of this, this gal and the pumpkin. Picked it up for like 10 bucks at a thrift store. Never had heard of the tent. And I just saw it and I was like, that, that's great. I have to have it. Also in that lot was Hack and Slash, which I have, I've heard of, definitely heard of it, but haven't like ever read it. Um, we have Army of Darkness versus Hack and Slash. Hack and Slash number 11. Hack and Slash uh, variant number 11, it looks like. Issue 24. Issue of Ghost number eight, from Dark Horse. Muse ten or ten Muse. Uh, now, bear with me a second. I was like, this, this woman looks really familiar, really familiar. And I was like, well, Lena Marrow. Who the hell is Lena Marrow? And then it clicked. If you remember the Attitude Era, era WWE, it's Sable. Lena Marrow was Sable and. I don't know how it took me that long to get that, but yeah, I had like an aha moment once I figured that out. Um, next thing I got was, bought this little series. Um, just looked really interesting and weird. It's called Battle Girls. Never heard of it, but it's like by Arctic Press, Antarctic Press. Um, and they've had some pretty cool stuff. And I was able to get uh, all six issues. So I went for it, and I, the art looks weird, the art inside looks weird, something about it just really thought looked cool, so I went for it. And the only other thing I picked up was this little stack of, uh, it's from uh, Radio Comics, it's called Morning Glory the Fairy, I've had a couple issues of this that I pulled out of a quarter bin years ago. And the art's really cute, it's really funny and bizarre, very bizarre. And so to see like the whole series, the whole set, I had, I had to get it. I had, I had to pay more than a quarter for them and I didn't want to pay that much for them, but I was still happy to get them. Whenever you can get back something that you lost, I always enjoy that and that's a lot of what my whole collection's made up of, is getting back something I lost. Anyway, that's my story. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.